Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Last episode, we had a, a shocker uh, in the Hall of Heroes. This episode, we will actually be taking on, weirdly, it's still the same day, um, and we'll be doing a bit of stuff on the surface here, um, but then we'll be taking on the final cave of the entire game, which is all very exciting. I'm putting everyone back in just because, well, we'll need to withdraw Pikmin, but I want to make sure I can withdraw flowered Pikmin. Um, so, the way through to where we need to go for this final cave is actually already open and ready to roll. This is a, there's a weird thing going on here. Um, of there's 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 a couple of ways of taking on this cave, uh, and there's a lot of different schools of thoughts on it. I am taking twenty of every color of Pikmin, um, and I'm going to use this um, thing here just to make sure everyone's actually weirdly flowered except my whites. I guess it's because I've actually got I've always had so few whites that they've never that um, they haven't always been that flowered. Whites will need once again for just poison resistance and digging out the occasional treasure. Cool. With that done, everyone's everyone's flowered up, which is nice. Do you hear that? Do you hear them singing a song? That's the song they sing when there are 100 Pikmin in your party, 20 of each colour. So you'll notice we have got until the end of the day here, so I'm actually going to do a quick round of, of spray gathering here, because because we can, and and therefore should. Um, so I'm going to do this a little bit until we get towards the end of the day. You'll notice these plant, plants here, um, they're quite interesting ones, in that they have both colours on, and the, amount, the frequencies of each colour that they have are actually proportional to how many you need. So if you tend to need reds more than, than blues at any point, they'll have more reds than blues. Um, so that's why they're mostly reds at the moment, because we have two more red sprays than we have blue sprays. I'm going to basically do two, like, waves of these, and then we'll head on to the final cave. So, with that done, we have already seen where the final, uh, cave is. We've actually walked right past it and got a treasure. Now, is the game going to be a dick, or is it not? It is going to be a dick! Wonderful! It's brought this orange bulb orb back to life. It sometimes does it, because this is a treasure-holding enemy. It can sometimes be a bit... Shinty like that. Right, let's bring my purples up to the front and actually make sure they are up to the front. And let's take on this guy with them. Oh, he's going to be a problem, so let's just spray him straight off and not have any problems here. Cool. Uh, we actually lost flowering on some of my purples from that, which is infuriating. Cool, everyone's good to go. Not a lot of time left in the day, but hey, there we go. Let's go into the final cave. Perhaps you will find Louie in here, and yet my CPU is on edge. Ludicrous dangers await. <coughs> oh my god, <coughs> that suddenly tickled my throat really badly. Oh. Beast lurk at the bottom of the Deke Starless, smoked foul, horribly sinister, smelly, vile pit. Not the longest, actually, the last one was. Do you wish to enter? Of course you do. Courage is our true treasure. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. Cool, let's hop into the Dream Den. 21 treasures and every, um, every bit of nastiness under the sun. Of course it is. So, first off here, what we got? We got... Oh, we got a lot of orange bulb orbs. They're fucking everywhere on this level. Um, a lot of the orange bulb orbs are kind of minding their own business and just let them do that to a certain extent. Um, and clear the poison wherever you can, just because otherwise you'll have a bad time with it there. Um, is this corner going to drop anything on me? No. Oh, you'll notice there's a jelly fountain. As you can see, there's a fucking shit ton of these, actually. Well, let's, let's see what we can do here and do some clearing. Most of this dungeon is going to be off-camera, um, in a sense of um, speeding or something like that, um, because because it's massive and 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 well, I've 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 kind of mentioned this before that uh, the end game of this does really drag on and it just has these really long caves which aren't very exciting footage. Um, so so there is that I suppose. So I guess it's going to be more think of it as edited highlights than than truly going through the final dungeon in a meaningful sense. Which feels weird, but there you go. Oh, he's going to take that white back. Do her chromads die if they eat a white? They do! Never knew that before, but hey, you know, first time for everything. Why is this guy not biting? Please bite. You're freaking me out there, mate. There we go! Oh, no, that's a bad time to zoom in. What's this? Is there a difference between the big and the small ones? Anyone know that? Anyone ever come across an answer to that? I've always wondered, but it's just I've never actually known. So this kiwi here is our only treasure of the floor, so I'm going to gather that whilst then also sweeping up all the other corpses. Uh, 
So this for 40 quid is the disguised delicacy. I always find just kiwis really weird. The fact that they're hairy just is is all kinds of wrong in so many ways. I suppose they're no weirder than a coconut, which are actually really weird when you think about it. So, well, there you have it. So there, once we've unplugged the hole, um, have I got everything on this floor? Yes, I have. Down we go to the next floor. This one is, is a real bugger. So, fortunately, it does spawn us with a shield here. There's a um, spotty white bulb, uh, spotty bulb bulb here, but that is actually relatively fine in, in the grand scheme of things, because our real problem here is this fucker. Uh, there's a Gatling groin on top of a turret there. He can absolutely shoot you from here if you venture out of the co cover too much, and he will proceed to do so. There are a number of potential ways to fight him, and there are another number of potential things to do in general. I'm going to try and, first off, have, have him kill some of these bulb orbs. Um, he can take shots at them, and as well, you can kill him with a rocket fist, so just clear them up. It makes taking him on much easier. With all of them defeated, it's time to actually take the man himself on, the Gatling Groix. So, the best way of doing this, I find, is to gather your yellows. Basically, this is the reason, one of the, well, one of the many reasons why I bring, like, 20 of each pick in, because... Because you do really need a little bit of everyone, and there's no better ones to take, really. We want to distract him with Olimar, though, so Olimar goes around the front, whilst everyone's favourite president sneaks around the back. Olimar will potentially take a significant amount of damage here if you're not careful, but, mm, come on. Right, he will kind of dodge to a certain extent, and what we want to do is get up here, and then throw Pikmin onto him. Unfortunately, because of the angle, it's really hard to hit him, and as you can see, I've, I've really, like, overshot quite badly there. We just gotta kind of trust to Olimar's slight AI ability to dodge. You'll notice he does move around a little bit. But yes, hitting, getting them actually successfully onto the groink can be actually a real bugger. But he doesn't really tend to shoot up the back that much, especially if you've got a captain around the front, he will focus on that captain, which is good. You'll notice the treasure meter is responding, um, which means what you think it means, um, which is which is unfortunate. But yes, he will tend to focus there. Let's just take him out, unless he causes me any problems. Now, remember your usual, the usual rules with Gronks. Ignore the treasure. The real treasure is inside him all along. Um, the real treasure is is bringing the Gronk back before it comes to life and causes a lot of problems. Getting 10 Pikmin on him can be surprisingly difficult. And you just have to really watch his health. And it's yeah, it's going to be an irritating thing. Uh, always is this one. Because, um, yeah, you can, you can get 5 or 6 on every time you go up there. And it's just... Maneuvering your yellows up here is just such a bastard. Like, you'll always drop some of the time sign and then, like, throwing them up. You'll always have some bounce off or go elsewhere. We should... Okay, that's at least on the move. Good. I feel better about that. Shit, their health recharges fast. It is quite alarming. With him on the way back, it's time for... We've got two treasures there and then corpse cleanup detail, of course. So, our first treasure, a very, very well-used pencil, is for 55 quid, the master's... Oh, it's not the master's instrument, it's the implement of toil. And then the second treasure on a similar theme for 130 quid, the manual owner, which I do quite like as a name. That clears up this floor, so let's head down to the next one. So, uh, we've not got a brilliant layout and spawn here, and, and of course my point is going fucky. I swear, it literally never does this during practice. It's so bizarre. Um, but we're going to take a Pikmin here far away from everyone, and that's not a handy sort, is it, guys? Come on. I want to be able to get out yellows and whites, but I get blues with them as well. Of course I do. This is this is one of the worst aspects of this of this game. Uh, is actually just trying to organise Pikmin into a squad of a certain amount. I believe Pikmin three uh, rectified that, but I've never actually played that one. I've seen it, but that was that was long ago. Your main hazards on this level are electric and poison in the first instance. Uh, there are also dirigibugs bugs around, but I will take them out secondarily for now. Oh, and of course, like you saw there, there's bomb rocks, everyone's favourite. One thing, oh shit, one thing to watch out for is, uh, of course, the bomb rocks. But you'll notice over there those. Um, you'll notice there's always somewhere on this map, there's some spotty bull bears getting excited over nothing. That is something very specific. And I will deal with that later, <laughs> actually. For now, I'm going to go over here and clear this bit out. So, with that done, at least that's, that's mostly cleared out and dead at that point, we can go and deal with some of the shit over here. Uh, I'm going to ditch the whites in favour of reds, I think. They'll actually... Oh. 
partly tempted to do this with just yellows. Now nah, I'll do it with reds and yellows because it's actually the Dirigibugs bugs I already want to fight, and I want to, as I say, avoid the the ones that are getting excited over nothing. Uh, let's see if we can take this guy out relatively easily. Okay, I want to squit the other little dude first. Squitting those this, the bull bears is such a variable approach. I don't know why, but it always has been. All right, let's try and block this guy from being more of a dick. Wonderful. Now. Now this next bit is a little on the odd side, even more so. Um, I want to ditch everyone we got here. And I want to take just like a handful of white pigment too. Perfect. Uh, ideally I want some of the flowered ones. How would I take just a single pigment? Come on. Not you, flower. Oh yeah, I can actually, I can change. There we go. Cool. And there we go. Right. Basically what I'm about to do will only work if you have a pigment with you. Um, what I want to do is you get near these guys. Nope, that's not what I was expecting, but that's great as well. We'll try and kill some of these guys with bomb rocks. Hey guys, look! <gasps> no! Well, they got my one white as well, but that was at least useful. Basically, if you follow the treasureometer, you'll notice it starts reacting here. But there's nothing here. There is something there, but it'll only happen and with it, it'll only happen to you if you've got Pikmin with you, which is why I was trying to summon it with one, and ideally one little fast Pikmin. That ain't gonna be a problem. Right, let's try that again. So when we approach this area with a Pikmin in tow. Hey, look, it suddenly drops a spotty bull bear on us. Fortunately, there's actually a really easy way to kill this guy. He will keep walking towards you wherever you are. Position a cliff between you and him. Off he plops. And magically, the treasure he was carrying. This GameCube controller just... Well, okay, don't know what happened there. Um, basically, my audio was just was rolling, and then it wasn't. And then it just it just said, sorry, stopped recording. I was like, well, 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 well don't. That'd be great. Um, cool. I'm going to do some corpse cleanup and grab that treasure as well. The GameCube control stick was what I was trying to say. And apparently I cocked that up so badly, my, my microphone refused to register it. Very strange. So, this for 140 quid is, of course, as a GameCube control stick, the Glee Spinner. Great name. And that's all there is on this floor, so we've just got this final uh, lecky gate to get rid of. Why is my pointer so fucky as well? God, I'm... I've enjoyed this, this Let's Play in a lot of ways, but there's so much shit I'm not going to miss about it, really. Anyway, we'll wait for the final few corpses to come in, and then we'll head downstairs. Now this next floor, you might recognise the layout from the subterranean complex. This floor is nothing short of bullshit. Um, there's no easier way of saying that. Basically, observe. There are armoured cannon beetles and anno beetles everywhere. Even if the anno beetles were not a threat, and believe me when I say they are, um, you have the additional problem. See, look, I'm just—I'm literally holding it straight there. Something's, something's freaking out my, my pointer. I have no idea why. That's going to be fun going forward. I'm going to change out the batteries just in case. Does that make it any better? Actually, yeah, it actually does. That's quite surprising. So, let's imagine for a second you didn't have anno beetles everywhere. You just had a shit ton of um, of, of armored cannon beetles. That attack they do where they do the and and chuck you forwards. That is so dangerous on this level because almost without fail that will knock your Pikmin, that will throw your Pikmin off the edge. The only way to make it through this level without severe Pikmin casualties is to use the rocket fist to beat up all of these uh, beetles manually. As you can see here, it takes about a minute for each one, and there's a lot of them, and I'm going to do that because because I want my Pikmin for later floors. So. <sighs> and there is 10 minutes of my life that I am never ever getting back. Uh, well, with that at least taken care of, we want to take... I was going to say we want to take yellows, but we want to actually take yellows and not have a white sneak along for the ride. And now we want to take... Carefully take out all of the Anno Beetles you notice there. It's very easy for a single yellow Pikmin to go spoing off one and into the Abyss beyond. So, yet another cut point. I don't like cutting this much, but... Also, it's, it's it's a real weakness of this game that it gets, well, basically boring towards the end. It's it's no more exciting to play than it is to watch, I assure you. That's the sad thing. And there we have it. Now we have a shit ton of corpses to clean up. And I've gone through all the bloody effort to, to get these things, so I am, of course, going to manually do that. There is also a treasure, which I will show you when we get to it. And here, right at the end, near the bloody output, is... The treasure that we're waiting for. It's actually the last thing for me to get, so... 
Well, there we have it. Let's do a fun speeder of watching it zip around the level here. And this is not worth quite as much as its gold counterpart, but it's still worth 300, the mirrored elements. Plus, like, a shit ton for all those beetles we brought back, hopefully. Cool! Next level. So this level is the red level. Every danger here is in some form or another red. There's fire, there's fiery blowhogs, there's... Um, the, well, withering blowhogs, which aren't fiery, but they are in fact red. Um, he's gonna fly over to my pigment and be a menace, isn't he? No, maybe not. And that, so the crowd, the star of the show here really is the fiery bull blacks, who, as you can see from the way the treasure arms is reacting, contains a treasure. And I want to try and do him in a nice easy way. So, hit him with your captain. You want to basically convince him to chase the captain. If we position ourselves right here, oh no, that was bad. Bad! Oh, basically you can trick him like we did with the um, fiery, not fiery, the anything, the um, spotty bull bear into walking off the edge. Uh, it requires, just because of the layout of the level, a little more finesse, perhaps, than that. And he's he's a bit harder to get him properly pissed off at you, so he does it. But it is it should be doable, we hope. Come on, fall into the hole. Oh, yeah, do... Uh, mm, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, did he give up and try and go back to sleep? No, now is not the time to sleep, you fuck. Get over here. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Okay, he's clearly not as stupid as his spotty counterpart, so I suppose we'll have to take him on the old-fashioned way. So... God, Olmar's actually surprisingly damaged. For full or five of, fifth, of 14, that's not particularly encouraging. Well, let's take some reds and, and do this the old-fashioned way, I guess. Clear these just because they'll make life a bit easier later, and we will just burp him. You know me, I don't really take any chances when it comes to ball blacks. We ain't going to be able to kill him in time. He's going he's gonna to break out of this burp before we do him in. Oh, just about. Hey, there we go. Oh, we got a fart for it. That's nice. Eye for an eye. I'll take that trade. I'm going to leave that bull bear there for now, actually. There are fiery blowhogs around. Watch what angle they're at when you throw Pikmin onto them. They can do that attack where they shoot forwards. Uh, as in where they go rah, 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 and like throw you forwards. And if you're not... Cool, we just lost Pikmin to that. Yeah, these guys can be a real bastard because of exactly that. You kind of got to make sure your captain's always in front of them. I think I chucked another bloody three Pikmin over the edge. Yeah, you got to basically make sure that they'll always throw forwards there, but it's oh, this level is tricksy. You've only got 11 reds left. Oh. This is the issue with only taking 20 of each, um, is that you lose numbers surprisingly fast. Oh dear, right, let's do what cleanup I can with these few reds then. So with that done, all that remains, with, with everything generally cleared here, all that remains is to take on this standard spotty bull bear, bull, uh, bull bob even. Which we can stun lock easily enough with purples. It is bizarre when purples do that farty attack and when they don't. And let's get this treasure back from over here. I've cleared all the um, the floor nasties, so we should be fine. And here is our reward, a nice red apple which has 40 quid and with the wonderful name of the insect condo. Now fortunately the gods of random generation have actually smiled on me. There's all that nonsense over there. Which we don't have to have shit all to do with, because there's no more treasure left on this floor, and the um, end next level hole thing is just over here as well, so we can just basically do fuck all with this floor, which is great, as we head down to floor six. Oh, this was... Oh, floor six. So, instantly, this looks like a boss floor. Fortunately, it's not, but it is nasty. Um, I'm going to basically hide everyone in this corner here, Knowing this game, there's almost certainly a bomb rock or something in here, but you can see what makes this floor so much fun. Cool, let's hide everyone here. Once I'm convinced that nothing bad is going to happen. Wonderful. And hey, look, once again, it's everyone's favourite enemy. It's the armoured cannon beetle lava. Um, but you also have these fuckers that can suck up captains, which is a particularly new level of fun. You can kind of use these guys to shoot each other, and that's exactly what I intend to do, so... Um, so, I might not even speed around, I just want to cut until until this is no longer a problem. So, change of plan. I couldn't be asked killing the other uh, cannon beetle for now because he wasn't playing ball and this jelly float was chasing after me. So I've decided just to cut out the middle man and kill the jelly float directly because it followed me over here to where my Pikmin are hidden. So, you'll notice this jelly float's reacting pretty severely, which means 
it's got a treasure in it. Specifically, it's got a crystal ball, which fortunately for us had landed right next to the thing. Now, if we keep an eye on that final beetle, we might be all right here, or we might be about to have a hell of a bad time, depending on what it does. But this is the only treasure on the floor, actually. This is for 200 quid, the future orb. Now, depending on what that beetle is doing, Basically, can we get past it and open this gate, or is it going to see us, in which case we're going to have a bad time? I think we're all right. Yep, cool. Obviously, if it shoots you while you're sh shooting down this gate, it's that's horrific. But we should be fine. We finished off this floor. There's, there's enemies and stuff over there, but you're really noticing these final floors. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> bothering with that at all. Um, I get the treasure, and I move the fuck onto the next floor rather than actually clearing them unless I really have to, because, because otherwise it's hell. Oh, speaking of hell... Well, we'll make this the final floor of the episode, I suppose. Look at this fucking shit. This floor is is evil. There's there's no other way around it. This this floor is evil. Because there's so much shit that can just ruin your day on it. Like, even here, like, the amount of different enemies they give you is insane. Ugh. I actually almost want to take out the blowhog first. I want to keep an eye on that Dirigibug bug, because he's going to be irritating. At least this is only a puffy blowhog. Um, but I think he's probably actually, yes, is going to be my primary my target at the moment. By the looks of it, he's got a treasure in him, which is kind of cool. Um, and hopefully we can... Basically, he'll he'll throw me around and throw off my rhythms while trying to take on the other enemies. Um, so that's kind of why I want him dealt with sooner rather than later. Need to watch my Pikmin down here, because this fucker's throwing bombs. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to go and hide in this corner while that bomb goes off. Ah, uh, brave man I am. Right, okay. Back to the blowhog then. Well, not back to the blowhog. Right, let's shoot this guy down. Then we'll back the fuck up. Ugh. Man, whenever it looks like I have a good opening on someone, something bad happens. Right, cool. That's the blowhog down at least. That, that does make life a little easier. So, shoot this guy down, and then we back up until his bomb rock goes off. And we be ready to shoot him down again. Basically, you just need to make sure you can shoot them down once before them, they drop a... How did none of those... Oh, because they're bloody purples, that's why. Because basically, once he's dropped the bomb, now you need to hit him down. Then he's down, bomb goes off. And then we need to shoot him down again before he can withdraw another bomb. Otherwise, there's always a bomb on the ground when he's on the ground, and that's real dangerous. Cool, I'm going to take out the other stuff in this area. Using the same tactic. Right, cool. Now I've actually got a bit of breathing space. The rest of this level ain't too bad. I mean, it's much of the same. But you can just position and plan your Pikmin so much better because because you've got the time and space for it. Here at the beginning, you've not got time. You literally spawn surrounded by utter bastardry, and it's awful. Fortunately, this guy has lured himself over here, which is easier. Basically, you, want, you, you kind of want to move by luring enemies one by one and taking them on that way. Um, oh, great time for a treasure to appear game. Great time. So that's the essence of desire for 90 quid. Uh, we might not have a great chance to, uh, to wail on this guy because, yep, yeah, because bad stuff happened. Well, we've got the only treasure of the floor, uh, which again is handy. If there's if there's an easy way through to the goal, I think I once again will take it just because why bother fighting if you don't need to? Right, I'm going to leave everyone here. I'm going to go on a scouting mission with the president. Let's see what's the minimum we need to do. To actually, uh, of course, there's a plug. Of course, there's a plug. Um, right. Let's take some reds and take some whites. Take some fast Pikmin. No, not purples. How how did you think you qualified for fast Pikmin? Come on, mate. Let's be real. Right, I want to take these guys and basically unplug the plug. Um, there are at least no swooping snitch bugs. It's only the, the bumbling kind that aim for captains. But hopefully if we can get into this corner without attracting too much attention. Wonderful. Cool, that's all we need. Right, let's break this down and we're all good to go. No fannying around killing things. Basically, yeah, it's random which one of those blowhogs holds the treasure. Unfortunately, it was the one we killed naturally towards near the beginning. Naturally towards near. Excellent. Right, cool. We'll hold it there, I think. Uh, it's been a long and grueling episode already. At least as for me, because I had to do all that shit off camera. So, next episode, we'll, of course, be heading down and doing the remaining floors of the Dream Den. Hope you'll join me then. Thank you very much, and good day.